Hi people, welcome to 365 days of mindfulness. Tips and codes. Day 13 tips. After your dinner, go for a walk. This will help your digestion. Quote, walking is man's best medicine. Hippocrates. Potential benefits of walking after eating. There are many benefits of walking after eating. Some of these include the following. Reduces gas and bloating. According to 2020 study, a trusted source, moderate daily exercise improves symptoms such as gas and bloating in people with irritable bowel syndrome (IBS). This finding suggests that people can decrease their syndrome by 50% when they increase the daily step count from 4,000 to 9,500. Researchers suggest that as the body moves, it stimulates the digestive system. This aids the passage of food. It is important to note that this study was done on university stu students, the majority of whom identify as women. They were all diagnosed with IBS and they were not taking medication to reduce symptoms. This study also did not look specifically at walking right after eating. While this study indicates that a person can reduce common digestive issues by increasing the steps count. It merely shows an association. Additionally, this was an observational study of people with IBS. This means the observed findings will not apply to all populations. Different studies have conflicting results. One German study suggests that while walking after a meal meant faster gastric empty, which is how quickly the food moves from the stomach to small intestine. This does not affect GI symptoms. Regulates blood sugar. After a person eats a meal, their blood glucose increases, especially if the meal contains a lot of carbohydrates. This is a temporary rise in the blood sugar. In a person who does not have diabetes, their body will release insulin. This is a temporary rise in blood sugar. In a person who does not have diabetes, their body will release insulin. Insulin lowers blood sugar and helps keep levels in check. In a person with diabetes, a rise in blood sugar after eating carbs is a normal occurrence. This is because carbs turn to sugar as the digestive system breaks them down. The sugar that enters the body bloodstream. The sugar supplies the body cell. namely and importantly the brain with essential energy in healthy individuals the pancreas releases enough insulin to regulate blood sugar however there are other diet and lifestyle modification as person can make to support blood sugar control which is the key to overall health there are variety of way a person can manage the blood glucose and walking after eating is one of them According to a 2018 study trusted source, a walk's timing affects postprandial blood, blood glucose or post-meal blood sugar levels. The finding suggests that a short walk after a meal lowers blood glucose level more than walks done before a meal. It is important to note that this study was done on non-diabetic young adults. The study design did not include information on other demographic factors such as the race of the participants uh, so it may not be representative of a larger population supports mental health walking is a possible way to improve mental health this is because it reduces stress hormones including ad adrenaline and cortisol When a person go for walk, when a person goes for a walk, the body releases endorphins that acts like the natural painkillers. These decreases discomfort, boost mood, reduces stress, and induce feelings of relaxation. However, research does not indicate that walking after a meal specifically improves a person's mental health. If this is the primary benefit a person is looking for, they should aim to fit your work in whatever suits them best. Improve, improve 
sleep. Regular exercise in any form can help relieve insomnia. This exercise can include walking. Research indicates that for some people, regular exercise can be as effective as insomnia medi medication. One old study trusted source shows that in adults, long-term regular exercises significantly decrease the amount of time it took them to fall asleep. However, going for a leisurely walk after dinner can also benefit people with insomnia. Getting a moderate amount of aerobi aerobic activity increases the amount of slow wave or deep sleep a person gets at night. However, vigorous exercise can be stimulating and it may interfere with sleep. Lower blood pressure. Regular physical activity can lower blood pressure and LD LDL, cholesterol trusted source, which is good for health heart health. This protects against heart disease and stroke. For optional health heart health, the Central for Disease Control and Prevention CDC trusted source recommended that people get 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise at least 5 days per week. People can easily achieve this walk by taking either one 30 minutes walk after a meal or three 10 minutes walk after breakfast, lunch and dinner. Potential downside of walking after eating. Walking is a safe and healthy activity for most people. However, some individuals may find that they are experiencing abdominal pain trusted, so trusted source, fatigue or discomfort if they go for walk immediately after eating. This occurs if the food is in the stomach move around, inhibiting the digestion. If someone has eaten a large, heavy meal, they have, they may prefer to wait before walking. The amount of time someone should wait depends on both the individual and the size of the meal. Because every person's digestion is different, they should pay attention to how they feel after meal and learn what works best for them. Ideal walk length. Similarly, one person's ideal walk length may be different from others. The the CDC recommends a person get 30 minutes trusted source of physical activity per day, 5 days per week. If someone cannot manage this, they can break the amount into shorter walks. They can gradually increase the length as they feel more comfortable and the fitness level improves. Individuals may also find shorter work or more manageable with the schedule. People should choose the walk length that is more suitable and practical for them. Manage the intensity. Gentle walking after a meal has various health benefits. However, high intensity exercise is not always a good idea. The process of digestion starts in the mouth as soon as a person starts eating and can continue for hours after afterwards. Intense strenuous exercise can cause digestive stress trusted sores. It can also lead to an upset stomach. Instead, people should aim for a low to moderate intensity walk. They should aim to increase their heart rate without pushing enough to be out of breath. If someone is new to walking after meals, they should begin with a relaxed stroll. They may be able to gradually increase the speed and intensity as they become accustomed to this physical activity. Summary Walking provides health benefits such as blood sugar re regulation and better sleep. It can also lower blood pressure. Some research suggests uh, that a short walk after eating helps manage a person's blood sugar levels. However, there is a limited evidence on the benefits of going for a walk after a meal. Walking improves health in many ways and a person can benefit regardless of the time of the day. People should choose the length, the intensity and the walk time to walk that suits them best. The CDC recommends 30 minutes of moderate activity per day. This is, the, this is why it is good idea to aim for that amount of movement. Thank you people. Bye.